Hello guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex, su amigo Alex. And today I'm going to show you how to set up your new iPhone 17 Pro Max without using an Apple account. It could be the 17 and the Air, the 17 Pro or the 17 Pro Max. So once you turn on your phone, you're going to see this message, right? You just have to swipe up and then here you're going to select your language. In my case, I'm going to select English and United States. Here you have the chance to select how big you want the text to display on your phone. This is the default, this is the medium, and this is the large. I'm going to keep it as default. Then you're going to click continue. This screen is good if you want to set up your new phone with your old device. It says looking for a nearby device. I have an iPhone 13 here. And you just saw how the new iPhone found the old iPhone and is trying to pair it and configure it based on what you have on your old iPhone. If I click continue, it's going to give me this. So all I have to do is scan this code with my old phone and then I'm going to start pairing it and so forth and so on. In my case, I don't want to do this because on this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your iPhone for the first time without using an Apple account. So that's why I'm not going to use this old device. I'm just going to close this and now we are back to this screen. All right, so I'm just going to click Setup without another device. Here, I'm going to select my Wi-Fi and I'm going to put my password, okay? Because you do need internet. All right, date and privacy, you're going to click Continue. Age range, you're going to select it for an adult. Face ID, you can configure this. I'm just going to skip it. So click on Setup later. From here, you have the option to create a passcode. I'm not going to create a passcode. I'm just going to click passcode options. And here I'm going to select don't use passcode. Using a passcode is highly recommended. Don't use passcode. This screen is also very important because some people are moving from the Android to the iPhone. I have a video dedicated on how to move from the Android to the new iPhone. I'm going to put a link on the description. So this part, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to select don't transfer anything. And on this screen is where a lot of people get stuck. Why? Because they don't have an Apple account or they don't remember the passcode. For any reason that you don't want to sign in with an Apple account to your iPhone, you need to click on forgot password or don't have an account. Click there. And here you can select set up later in settings. Are you sure you don't want to use the Apple account? Don't use. Here are the terms and conditions. I'm just going to click agree. Here you can set up your iPhone to update automatically or not. In this case, I'm going to click continue and then iMessage and FaceTime. I'm going to click not now. Location services. I'm going to click set up later. Disable location services. Okay. It said set up eSIM. As you know, in the US, since the iPhone 14, we only use eSIM. We don't use physical SIM cards anymore. So this is the part where you set up your eSIM. You can transfer it from a nearby phone or you can use a QR code. I'm going to set up this later. Set up later. Skip eSIM setup. Skip. A screen time, you're going to click continue. iPhone analytics, don't share. Light or dark display. You can do auto or you can do dark. I'm going to select dark because I like the dark theme. Apple intelligence. I will suggest you to set up Apple intelligence. I'm going to click not now, not now. And then here is where the iPhone is going to explain you about the new features. Like for example, the camera control button, which is this one. You're just going to click continue. Also visual intelligence with camera control, continue. Then we have the action button. If you can customize it, it's going to show you what you can do silence mode focus camera visual intelligence flashlight voice memo recognize music shazam translate or magnifier in this case i'm just gonna keep it as silent mode okay click continue siri i'm gonna click setup later emergency sos i'm gonna click continue and now you just configure your iPhone without using an Apple account. You're going to click get started. We are inside the iPhone 17 Pro Max. And if you go to settings, Apple account, you see that you don't have an Apple account right here. You can do sign in manually. It's going to ask you for your Apple account email and password. Or you can do it using another Apple device. You can bring this together. So it's giving me pretty much the same window that it gave me before, right? But I'm not going to use this right now. Can you download apps without an Apple account? In order to download apps, in order to sign into your app store, you're going to need an Apple account. 
The good part is that you can use an Apple account to download apps and another Apple account for your iCloud and things like that. You can create a new Apple account or you can use your existing Apple account. Now, the good thing is that you can use an Apple account here and you can use another Apple account here. You can use another one here. If you first log into the Apple account here, then automatically you're gonna be signing to the App Store with the same Apple account, unless you sign out and sign in with another account, you know? And that's it guys, now you can take pictures and everything. Another thing guys, every time you buy an iPhone on the streets via OfferUp, Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, you need to configure it like this. You need to check if the camera is working and all the stuff, you know? And the only way you can check that is if you configure the iPhone so you can actually use it. If they want to scam you, they will try to sell you a phone that is not configured. It's actually on the first screen, you know, and you actually need to configure it right away without logging to an Apple account. So you can see that this iPhone can be used. If this iPhone is locked to an Apple account, you will not be able to configure it like this. The first thing I will check if you're buying a phone on the streets is the IMEI. You're going to search it online and see if it's blacklisted or not. The website I use is called IMEI check and you can search a lot of stuff on this website you can see if the iPhone is blacklisted or not also you can check what carrier locked this iPhone all right guys congratulations on your new iPhone I hope you can enjoy it please let me know in the comments if you have any questions this is your friend Alex su amigo Alex and I'll see you on my next video take care guys bye